it into Tank Dell, who's also at this event. Uh, in total, again, there was 10 people who were injured. Uh, 10 people were hospitalized. None uh, suffered life-threatening injuries. Uh, nine have been released from the hospital. One is still in the hospital and is likely to be released uh, soon. Uh, shell casings. Uh, so the report of Bowie, he, Bowie has a 9 millimeter. Uh, there are four muzzle flashes during this uh, firearm encounter back and forth. There are three expelled casings of a 9 millimeter that are found on the ground. One live round, which is likely when the security officer ejects the live round. But again, four muzzle flashes, three casings, one live round. And with scenarios like this, sometimes you just don't initially find the extra casing. There's a pool there. It easily could have dropped, and somebody could have been kicked with people fleeing out of the area. On the other side of the room, and the person who has yet to be identified, uh, there are five muzzle flashes on that side, and there are five 45 caliber shell casings that were located on the scene. And I think that this is a little bit of a, a different narrative than what we initially thought, that one person presented a firearm, fired multiple times, injuring 10 people, this is a, a shootout that's going back and forth. Uh, let me uh, show uh, where uh, uh, Tank Dell. Nathaniel Dell is obviously a third round um, uh, 2023 draft pick, uh, 69th overall from the Houston Texans. Uh, somebody who was a star athlete in the Daytona Beach area, uh, known uh, to a lot of people there. He is standing literally between the firearm altercation. Uh, the video shows that he's walking. Uh, his report, because he is a victim in this case, he has been uh, injured as a result of this. Uh, his report was that he saw this, or actually he saw what was going on. He took his cell phone out, had the cell phone in his hand, but you can see the position that he's in. He's right in the middle of, of, this, of this firearm uh, altercation. And again, we will continue to work with him uh, as a victim uh, in this particular case. So where we're at with this, as, as investigations like this continue to evolve, uh, the, the county will meet later today. I've had uh, 